Welcome back. This is video two of our series on creating reports in Cribmaster. Now, uh, in the previous video, we created our report, we gave it a name, and we added some information, some data. Now, if you look at the preview, you see we have a little bit of work to do for formatting. Now, the first thing I noticed uh, is that the the headers and the data are all the same format, which kind of makes it all kind of blend together. I want the headers to stand out a little bit more. Uh, so let's change that. For one thing, uh, I want to go ahead and change this price to just you know, something other than all caps. So I want these headers to be a different format. Uh, and I want the, the information to have their own uh, format. And I can do that one by one if I select one of these fields. I can come up here to my formatting box. Uh, we want to keep this font Swiss LT. Uh, bold is fine, uh, but I want this to be a little larger so it stands out a little bit more. Actually, let's go ahead and make it 16 font, 16 point. Now I can do that one by one, but something that's a little bit easier uh, that I think uh, can help save some time is to actually create a style. So I'm going to come up here to my style designer and we are going to go to add style component. All right, so we'll give this a name. It went ahead and called it style one, but we'll call this one uh, header. And then uh, down here under font, instead of Arial 8, We'll go to Swiss LT and 16. There we go. All right, let's create a, uh, a second one. Add style component, and we'll call this one data. And we'll go to font and Swiss LT. But this one we'll have at 12. All right, so let's go ahead and close that. So now I'm going to go ahead and click and drag to select all of my headers, and I will simply click the header button, and there we go. I can do the same thing down here under data, and that's all organized the way I like. Let's see how that looks on the preview. Okay, a little, little bit better. Uh, now I'm noticing that the description column is too narrow, and not only is it cutting off the description header, it's cutting off the descriptions below. So let's change that. That's an easy fix. We'll just grab these fields and move them over, and we will just widen them out a little bit. Now some of these descriptions can be pretty wide, so uh, yeah, it could be. Yeah, we're still cutting off a little bit. But for right now, I'm just going to leave that. Um, you know, some of these descriptions, you may have to change them, or you may have to just uh, futz with the the width of the column to get them all to fit. Uh, but that's good for our purposes for right now. Now, uh, another thing I'm noticing is the date. All I'm interested in is the day that it took place. You may like to include the time. It looks like the system is trying to include the time. You see this happened around 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, and so on. Uh, you can see where it's coming in there, like plus 340 something. Um, but I'm not interested in that. I'm, I'm going to have these just be the actual day that the transactions took place. So to do that, I'm going to select that, that piece of data right there, and then I'm going to come up here to my text formatting box. We'll expand that out a little bit, and I'm going to select date, and I'm going to keep that as the, the North American standard for month, day, and year. All right, let's see how that looks. Beautiful. Okay. Next thing I noticed is the issue two column, which seems to be, seems to have a lot of blanks in it. Why is that? Well, the reason is because right now we are just showing every single transaction that has taken place. And not every transaction isn't issued to transaction. 
Some of these are adjustments, some of these are receives, and so forth. Um, so we're not interested in those, we just want to see issues. So let's go back to our uh, page one here, and we're going to create a kind of a, a built in query uh, for this report. Now, if you hover your mouse over the, the band here, there are these little icons that kind of show up. They're little tiny microscopic ones almost. Uh, but the second to the last one, you want to click that, uh, and it brings up this data setup dialog box. We're going to come down here and we're going to create a filter. So, add a filter. We'll leave this as value. We'll see a data type string, but and then column. This is basically what field that we want to uh, base this filter on. We'll choose type description. That's a description of the type of transaction that's taking place. And we will say equal to issue. So we'll say OK. So now we're only looking at issues. So now all of our issue two fields uh, are are populated. All right, so we're looking good here. Uh, one last thing I, I want to look at here is the price. Um, now, not every field, not every item in, in my list here has a price, but uh, the price is a little. The format of the price is a little odd. It's, it has these extra zeros. I want to fix that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that field there. I'm going to come up here to my uh, format. We'll select currency and click OK. All right. So now we've got the dollar sign. We've got uh, the prices put in. Uh, looks like we've got a lot of free items there. Uh, so now, now our, our report is starting to take some shape here. Now, if you notice, it took the title that I entered on a previous screen, including the little, little hash mark there. Um, let's make that a little bit better. I'm going to double click that and we'll take out that little hash. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, let's just change the title altogether. We'll just call this item issues. And then we will, uh, let's change the font so it stands out a lot better. Okay, how's that look? All right, We're, we are definitely making some progress here. But we still have a little bit more work to do uh, uh -huh. to make our, our report perfect, um, and we will be doing that in the next video. So stay tuned.